This tunnel, deep beneath Tyneside, was built to take coal from Newcastle and ship it to every corner of the world. In the 150 years since it closed, the local economy has really had its highs and lows. In the last recession, this region lost more public sector jobs than any other part of the UK. But again, the economic picture is starting to look a bit different. So this is a project we've been developing ourselves as a team. Um, and we've been using the environment around us. So this is uh, you know, the famous uh, bridge in the centre of Newcastle at the bottom of Dean Street. This fantasy version of Gateshead was created by a local digital arts company. Ron Ashtiani lost his job in 2009, so he gambled and started up his own firm in the middle of a recession. It now makes images for big budget films and games. You can see here how it was introduced into the painting. This firm has just opened an office in South Africa and is planning to grow its workforce by a third this year. If you're a big sort of lumbering London company, an agency who, who's got a lot of staff and a lot of overheads, it's very hard to then suddenly you know, cut prices or, or, or produce something that's competitive. I think there is an unfair sort of view of the North from the South, that it isn't all like, you know, uh, dilapidated factories and kids running around with no shoes on. You know, it's, we're a, a big tech hub now. There's plenty of, of, uh, of money and business here. And, you know, we're able to stand our own against any, any country uh, in the world these days. The latest figures show the last time companies in the northeast were this optimistic was back in 2003. But growing confidence doesn't yet mean widespread job growth. Unemployment here is still twice what it was before the recession.